Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today let's take a look at FSR 3.0 frame generation mod by Luke FC. It's currently a paid mod. So just get that out of the way. I'm playing Hogwarts Legacy on my Steam Deck Steam OS and I've got the FSR 3 mod on right now. And yeah, I've done videos like this in the past with Hogwarts Legacy, but it was always like I uh, had like ghosting, UI flickering or the Borderlands graphics. So tried the latest version of the mod 0.8.0 i'll show you how to install that later on in the video i just want to show you some of the like improvements okay so right now you can see my settings i'm currently display settings it's on windowed resolution 1280 by 720 upscale type is nvidia dlss this isn't really dlss it's because of the fsr3 mod so we're actually using FSR 3.0. Upscale mode is ultra quality. So you can see the graphic quality is pretty good right now. Frame generation on. Um, NVIDIA reflex low latency on plus boost. Frame rate uncapped. Field of view. Motion blur. Uh, depth of field. Film grain is all off. Chromatic aberration is on. And then on the graphic graphic options global quality preset is on recommended so that's medium okay and yeah you can see in the overworld we're actually doing pretty well okay but there's a catch okay there's a catch remember i told you about that borderlands graphics okay so it happens when when like the sun is up i don't know why but at night time it's okay but like when i go to daytime and i have the ultra quality preset Okay, so now it's not daytime somehow. Yeah, this day night cycle thing is really hard to get, but uh yeah, it like during the day it really messes up. So I'll show you that later on. I'll show you that later on. Now let's go to Hogsmeade. So I'll show you the performance in Hogsmeade. So let's put it into Hogsmeade, show you the performance on ultra quality preset. So this is how I play it. I play it like during the night and um, mostly inside the Hogwarts castle. I just play it on ultra quality preset. And when the sun comes up, when the sun comes up, you get the Borderlands graphics. And that is when I turn it back to uh, the performance reset yeah i think the sun is about to come up soon so yeah maybe we just walk around here a bit and the sun will come up and you'll know what i mean so yeah in hogsmeade it's like running at 50 ish 60 sometimes it drops to the 40s but uh yeah overall yeah the mod is working great working good okay so the graphics looks fine right now right the sun is up looks fine yeah it gets worse. Like, you get that Borderlands effect. So just wait for the sun to come up. Fully. I think it's got something to do with the sun rays. Because, like, if you're inside, like, the castle or inside these houses, like, it, it's, it's okay. But when you're outside and there's sunlight... Then uh, you get the really weird effect. Yeah, I can't use the broom right now. Okay, I think we're, we're getting there. Okay, you see the trees? See, now, now the sun is coming up. We're getting the borderlands effect. See that? See the trees? See the clouds at the back? Yeah, that's what I call the borderlands effect. But it happens during the day when the sun... The sun's out. See the trees? Okay, I still can't fly. Maybe if I fly, it'll be easier to see. But yeah, I think you can see already.
So yeah, so during the day when this happens, I just play on performance mode. Oh, I just found found something. Cool. All right. Yeah, now it really kicks in the borderland effects. So yeah, you know. But during the night, it's okay. Kind of funny. So let me just rest. Why is there lightning? I didn't know. I didn't know that. Why is there lightning? Okay. Anyway, let's go to nighttime. And everything. Oh, let me show you how to fix it. Okay. So just go to settings and change the ultra quality to performance. To performance. And you get, you take a hit on the graphics, but uh, it fixes the effect. You see that? But the graphics don't look as nice because the resolution is lower. But uh, yeah, it fixes that. So if you don't mind, just leave it. Okay, so back to ultra quality. Yeah, and the effect is still there. Okay. So now let's go to nighttime and it fixes it as well. Yeah, everything looks good at night. Let me go to um, Hog Hogwarts. And see the performance there. It's pretty good. Like Hogsmeade is the I think the hardest part to run the game. And the open world. Hogwarts is okay. Am I still getting that like lightning? Why is that? I haven't played this game in a while. <laughs> Did I make a spell or something? Did I make a spell that, that, or did I use a potion? Oh yeah, I think I used this potion. Oh, the thunder brew. Oh, that's why. That's why it's following me. All right, so inside the castle, you can see we're getting really good frame rates. Yeah, so we don't have an issue in the castle. Okay, so I think that's enough. I think you want to like know how to install this, right? So let's go to... Uh, my Steam Deck desktop mode, and I'll show you how to get this installed on a fresh, on a fresh game. All right, see you in desktop mode. Okay, so before we go any further, I'd like to introduce you to my secondary channel. It's called Growing Up Cooking. Other than gaming, cooking is also a passion of mine. So I'd like to share some of my cooking dishes, recipes on that channel. If you like gaming, you like eating, and you want to support me, please go over there and subscribe to that channel. I'll give you some sneak preview right now. Are you ready? Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Hello, Alright. Oh god, just put the sauce in. Ooh! Mmm. So did you enjoy that? Watch the full video at Growing Up Cooking. Links in the description. Okay, welcome back to my Steam Deck desktop mode. First thing you need to do is you need to locate your game. So mine's a Steam version of the game. So go to Home and go inside the hidden folder dot Steam, Steam, and then Steam Apps. I can find it right here. And then inside here, you've got a common folder. All right, this is where your game folders are for your Steam games. So inside here is Hogwarts Legacy. Make sure you go inside the Phoenix folder, binaries, Win64. This is where you place all your mods, your mod files. Okay, so I'm going to delete them first. I'm going to do a clean install. So let's just delete these. These are all the mod files. Okay, uh, the cache, the cache I can leave. I can leave the cache. I don't want to rebuild the cache. Okay, so the mod files are gone. Okay, and also I'm going to delete. I'm going to delete the. Okay, let's open a new tab. 
So Steam apps, instead of going to the common, going to compact data, this is where your prefix folder is. So this is Hogwarts Legacy 990080. This is the Steam ID. So this is the Hogwarts Legacy prefix folder. I'm just going to delete it. Okay. Now I'm going to run the game. So it generates that prefix folder like a brand new one. So it's like a like a fresh install. You can see if I run the game right now. Okay, and I'm not going to use, I'm just going to remove the launch options. Okay. So now if I play the game, you should see it generates, see that? It generated the prefix folder. All right. So it's generating a new prefix folder because I'm playing the game like a fresh game. It still has my saves because it's saved to the cloud. But uh, yeah, the prefix folder is uh, newly generated. So let's just like, Imagine this is a brand new install of the game. Um, if you haven't had this mod installed before, this is what it should look like. And then I'll show you how to install it. So let's run the game first. It would take a while for the first time running the game. It's generating the prefix folder and all that. So yeah, just give it a little bit of time. And I think it's getting my cloud saves and all that. Okay, in the meantime, this is my mod. So Luke FC mods. Okay, now the game's booted up. Okay, if it's booted up, it's okay. Or maybe I can show you like uh, what it's like. Okay, so I'm playing on windowed mode, obviously. Okay, so this is just the vanilla, no mods. So let's go to settings and you can see upscale type. FSR so it doesn't have the DOSS option because we haven't installed the mod yet okay okay now that we're clear stop the game stop the game and as I was saying this is the mods the Luke FC mods that I've downloaded okay I'm using the latest version 0 0.8.0 okay so what you need to do I'm going to use the 220.zip Okay, this is the one and we don't need all the files. So all the optional files we don't need. I'm just going to drag these four files, extract them to the Phoenix binaries Win64 location that I told you about. All right. So just extract them here. Okay, that done. You can pause the screen if you need to. Okay, and then we also need this enable fake GPU.zip. Okay, we're also going to extract this file over to the Phoenix binaries Win64 location. Okay. And that's basically done. That's where you put your mod files. Okay. And then in your game, launch options, because we've got this winmm.dol, this is what kicks the mod. Okay. So we go launch options and we paste this code. I'll leave the code in the description if you want to copy and paste it. Okay. And that's done. That's done. Play. So it's way easier to install. You don't have to do that reg edit thing. Yeah. You know, before we had to. Now it's just way easier. Okay, let's load the game and see if the mod works. And that's it. Okay, so the mod window popped up. So everything is looking good right now. Okay. So let's go into the game. Go into the game. I wonder if it's day or night. So if it's day, we probably see that like uh, Borderlands effect. Oh, it is day. Maybe I haven't set my settings yet. Okay, settings. Oh yeah, I'm on FSR. See, now we've got the OSS. Let's select it. And okay, so it crashed. The first time it crashed. Okay, that's okay. Okay, it just crashed. I think that happens when you first time you select it. 
So just let it, I think it'll close by itself. Yep, it closed. So that's okay. Don't panic like I do. Okay, just let it crash for the first time. Let's launch back into it. So I think it crashed because it's like changed from FSR to like when you change it to DLSS, which is in fact FSR 3.0. Yeah. So, okay, second time. So we did change it. I'm not sure if it saved the settings. Okay, yeah, now you can see it's DLSS and it's on quality. Okay, turn on frame generation. Turn it on. Again, okay, same settings. Reflex low latency on plus boost, frame rate uncapped. Yeah, everything's the same here. Everything's the same. Uh, okay, global preset. I might want to change that back to recommended. Because the Steam Deck, you don't really need Ultra. Okay. I think that's good. I think that's good. Now let's see if we crash again. Yeah, I think the crash is only because you're changing from FSR 1 to FSR 3.0. Yeah. Looking good. Is the Borderlands effect yeah, it's in, it's in, we still get the Borderlands effect. Okay, so two methods to get rid of it. The first one, go to your settings. Okay, and just change to DLSS performance. That's one way. That's one way to get rid of it, but uh, it takes a hit on the graphics, okay? Another way, which I like to do. I like to play it with nice graphics. Okay, set it back to ultra quality. Okay, borderland effect. Okay, another way is just sleep. Wait. Change it to night. And yeah, that's it. Graphics looks nice and we're in nighttime. But yeah, that's how it's done, guys. I think this is the best way to play Hogwarts Legacy on your Steam Deck right now. So I think you should do it. All right. Let me know in the comments if uh, you tried this mod out. And if you have any issues, let me know. And probably what game you want me to try out next. And I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.